Hello, Veteran on 2 in here. Welcome back, and this is Final Fantasy IV, The After Years. In the last episode, we began the Crystals chapter, and is there going to be some... I don't know, I read somewhere that there's a small tale down here somewhere. I could be wrong. It's very possible. It's very, very possible that I could be wrong. I just want these things to die. Just die, you piece of craps. There we go. Yeah, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I just need to get on my airship and fly around. East of Baron. Aha. This is probably it right here. Yep. Alright, yeah, we get another small tail. That is small tail number three. I don't think there's anything else to find, though. Doesn't really look like it. Again, I don't understand why they had to design it where you gotta, say, launch airship. Wouldn't it have been better if you just launched the airship automatically? and then have the option to say go to your menu and then go to the freaking cabin of the airship wouldn't that make a lot more sense that would make sense to me you can do it in Final Fantasy 7, 8, 9 why the fuck can't you do it in this game hell you can do it in Final Fantasy 6 but yeah I don't think we can actually um, access the mist cave. I think those areas are actually blocked off. But actually, you know what, before we do anything else, let's go to the mist village. Because there's a story event that's supposed to happen here, I think, that we kind of want to do before we do anything else. Mother. Oh, yeah, the mist is protecting the village. Yay. How does that work? It's my mother. She's back from the grave. So, is Rydia's mother the mist dragon or the summoner who can summon the mist dragon? This part's a little confusing. So yeah, the first part of this chapter is going to be focused on getting Rydia's summons back so she doesn't suck. Because right now her black magic skills are not on par with, you know, say Palum or Golbez. But uh, we can't explore the village. How freaking utter unfortunate is that? It is very unfortunate. Can we find items in this village? Well, I guess we can. 
We can find utterly worthless items in this village, apparently. Because that's exactly what bomb cores are. Utterly worthless. Those items should be banned. Why the game designers even put them in this game is beyond me. Just because they were in the first game doesn't mean they ought to be in the second game. So there's not really much we can do here. So I'm just gonna leave. See you, see you later, Miss Village. There's Kaipo. Alright, yeah, there's one right there in the desert. So I'm going to land the airship right about... Where can I land the airship? Can't land it there. Jesus Christ, i got to land it all the way up here? Fuck. That's bullshit. Didn't we fight these guys in Golbez's chapter? I think we did. Fucking horse shit. Hurry up! Why do they all have to counter with that fucking spell? Are you, are you shitting me? Are you shitting me? And they're all gonna counter with Osmos. All of them. Every single last one of them. Slow ass animations. What the fuck? God. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, people. It's not my fault these animations are going so slow. I'd say that's the only thing that I like better about the 2D version still is that the animations and the flow of battle is faster than this. Just fucking hurry up and kill the damn things. Jeez. Anyways, where was I? Oh yes in this uh, brick thing here we find a small tail and uh, I believe yeah I believe that's all we can find in there all right we got some butterflies death to all butterflies I gotta change the fucking moon phase. This moon phase is garbage. Alright, let's go find another small tail, shall we? Next one I'm gonna be trying to find is southeast of Kaipo. Some kind of desert patch. Yeah, it's right around this area here.
Alright, so let's open up this chest and a monster emerges. Uh oh. And yes, it is a. What is this thing? A Duke Marlboro or some crap? And that whatever it was didn't work. Great Marlboro. Uh, I'm gonna use stop on this guy because it's only one guy. Otherwise, I would just use a bronze hourglass. <coughs> but, um. Yeah. Once we get stop on this guy, we should be good. Um, as far as the kind of magic he's susceptible to, I'm not really sure. Maybe Blizzard? gonna keep pounding away at this guy. Not susceptible to Blizzard, okay. Unless he's just blocking the damage because his magic defense is so high, which is very possible. Um, I don't fucking know what to do to this guy with Rydia. I'm just gonna have her defend. Nothing else I can do. Alright, we got him. Yay! Alright, Edge learns Shadow Bind. And we get a Black Belt Gee! Yeah, I don't think this Dancing Dagger is working out very well. So I think I'm going to go back to this. And maybe a Mithril Knife, I guess? I don't know. That'll work, I guess, for now. Oops, forgot to put his Black Belt Gi on. Yeah, that's going to be better than Shinobi Gear. And I think Luca is going to end up surrendering this. Yeah, she's already got high enough strength. Edge needs it more. He's faster. He gets more attacks in, so therefore he gets the power armlet. Yeah. I'll go with that this for a while. Actually, man, what happened to that other boomerang that I had? That metal boomerang? Damn. I forgot to unequip that from Sukunawa. Could be using that right now instead. I should have unequipped characters with equipment in previous chapters. Oh well. one of these has okay never mind we got a small tail okay yeah that's ultimately why you want to explore that little area there so what's next let's check out the fabul area I'm just going to be hunting for small tails. Is there anything in the Chocobo Forest? Can't even go inside the Chocobo Forest. What the frick? Hmm. Okay, apparently there is one in a forest southeast of Fabul in a bush. that is, I'm not really sure. Ah, it's right here.
All right, we get another small tail. Okay, so back to the airship. Forest west of Fabul in a bush. That's what I heard. Betcha it's right here. Yeah, right around this area. I like how in this version of the game they actually play the Final Fantasy 4 overworld music and not the airship music for like everywhere, you know? Alright, we got a fairy rod. That I will give to Rydia immediately because that will definitely help out her intelligence. As you can see, yeah, that gives a plus 7 compared to that healing rod, so hell yeah. That'll help out her spells immensely. Alright, another small tail. How many small tails is that do I have now? I have 21, so that means I've found 7. So we only have 14 more to find. And I definitely won't get to all of them in this episode, but... Yeah, doing the best I can. I will show off getting all of them, because I plan on getting all of them, because it is a good idea to get all of them, trust me. Very good idea. Alright, I need to check my list again, I'll be right back. Alright, there's supposed to be one kind of by damn cyan, I guess, somewhere. It gets, uh... Yeah, like over here somewhere. And this uh, pile of bones. So yeah, that one might be kind of hard to find. Yes, I want to launch it. Why would I go up to the airship and press the button if I didn't want to launch it? Hmm, can I do anything here? Chocobo forest with no chocobos? Is that what's going on here? Anything to find? Oh, that sucks. Alright, I got the Chocobo Summon. Not that that's really any good, but whatever. I got it. I forgot about that. In fact, I'm not even sure if I found that uh, in my other playthroughs of this. I don't know. I can't remember. Hmm, that looks awfully fishy right there. Where the hell do I land this damn thing? Nothing but forests everywhere. I 
There's literally nowhere to land this fucking thing. It's bullshit game. Why don't you cut down some of your fucking forests, man? Holy shit. Gotta walk all this way. Yeah, I figured there'd be one over here. Well, I did kind of look to see if there would be one over here. There's got to be one in here somewhere. Alright, another small tail. And nothing else. These guys look tough. Sort of. Tsunami? Weak tsunami. Another small tail. Looks like there's a chest over there. I'll get in a second. Let's try to make sure I'm not missing anything else around here. What the fuck? How do I get up there? Oh. Alright, we get an ice whip. So, whip users uh, can make use of that, like Harley and um, Izayoi, I guess. Otherwise, not very useful. Well, I suppose Lenora as well. But I'll probably give her a staff or a rod. Because she is a mage, and she does benefit more from staves and rods. Yeah, I do not want to go in here yet. This was an accident, folks. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm actually going to want to go to Eblon Castle before coming to Troya, because at Eblon Castle... Uh, we're going to rid Eblon Castle of fire, and by doing so, we'll have a nice fire summon. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about Troya right now, but as you can see, Troya is frozen over, which is really, really bad. And uh, I'm going to end the episode right here. That's all for this episode of Final Fantasy IV, The After Years. In the next episode, we'll continue getting small tales. And ultimately, I'm going to go to Baron first, not Baron first, Eblon first because I want to do that little side quest thing first. This is Veteran 0 one I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.